Hello, I want to give you a quick demo today of the use of the archive bit, trigger file and XML file to determine the completion of the backup of Enterprise Vault save sets. This is the fourth video in a five part series of videos covering some of the different aspects of Enterprise Vault storage. How does Enterprise Vault determine that a backup of the save sets has completed? It can use the archive bit on the file on the file system. It can use the partition secured notification.xml file, which was introduced in Enterprise Vault 8 and onwards. And it can also use a file called the ignore archive bit trigger.txt file. Let's start by seeing how the traditional archive bit operation works. This is the default in Enterprise Vault. Over here you can see the properties of my Vault store. When Enterprise Vault safety copy mechanism is set to after backup, or after backup immediately for journaling, by default Enterprise Vault determines when backups have completed for the partition by looking at the archive bit of the save sets on the file system. Here we can see a file that Enterprise Vault has, and we can add in the attributes column to see the archive bit. When using the archive bit, Windows will automatically add the attribute to each new file and each modified file. The A attribute is removed by backup software once the file has been backed up. In some cases though, backup software does not reset this attribute, and sometimes the media that the partition data resides on doesn't support the archive attribute. In these situations, the administrator has the option of using either ignore archive bit trigger.txt or the partition secured notification.xml available from Enterprise Vault 8 and upwards. These have to be set up and configured by the administrator. To look at the mechanism currently employed on a partition, you have to navigate as follows. Expand the Vault Store group and then the Vault Store. Go to the partition. Go to Properties and then go to Backup. For this partition, you can see that it's set to use a trigger file. Enterprise Vault will scan for a valid trigger file when the storage service starts or when backup mode is cleared from a Vault store. So what happens is that Enterprise Vault will check first of all for a partition secured notification.xml file which must be created by your backup software. If it is found but not in the correct format, an event is logged. If it's not found, then EV will look for the trigger file instead. In Enterprise Vault, there isn't any difference in configuration whichever trigger file is used. Just remember that if we are using the XML file, then this has to be created by your backup software. Here is an example of a partition secured notification.xml file. Like the traditional trigger file, this XML has to be placed at the root of each partition when the backup has been completed. Enterprise Vault will then post-process items based on the contents of the XML file. As mentioned before, if this XML file is not valid, Enterprise Vault will log an event like this. Remember, Enterprise Vault, when it logs this event, won't then go and look for the ignore archive bit trigger.txt file. A trigger file should be created each time per partition. It cannot just be copied into the right place. This is because the create date of the file is used to determine the date and time of which backups are seen to be completed. When working properly, all DVS files prior to this date and time will be considered secure and can be post-processed. Here's an example of a batch file that can be used to create the ignore archive bit trigger.txt file. If we run that now, and then look at the partition, we can see the ignore archive bit trigger.txt has been created. Once post-processing is completed, Enterprise Vault renames the file to be ignore archive bit trigger.old. Both this trigger file and the XML file, if used, have to be the exact names given. No other names can be used. Ignore archive bit trigger.txt has been in the product for a very long time and it can be used generically from almost any backup solution. 
Right at the end of the backup, the file needs to be created. It's easy to do this from any backup solution operating system, for example, a Unix server. Partition Secured Notification.xml was introduced by Enterprise Vault 8. Software like Semantic Net Backup version 7.0.7.1 utilize this XML file mechanism. In summary then, the completion of the backup of save sets can be signaled to Enterprise Vault using either the archive bit, ignore archive bit trigger.txt, or partition secured notification.xml. Remember the trigger files are checked for when storage service starts or when the backup mode is cleared. I hope that showing you some of these backup mechanisms is useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.